I'm Moritz Renftle. I'm uh, working at Signiers. We're a small IT consulting company based in Karlsruhe, Cologne and Hamburg. We mainly do data science and data engineering projects for our customers. The most important one for me is um, the refactoring capabilities of PyCharm. Uh, so compared to other IDEs, um, refactoring in PyCharm just works a bit more reliably. And um, I'm a kind of um, developer who refactors code a lot over and over again. I start with some scaffold of code. I uh, rename stuff. I move stuff into other packages. I really need this to work without breaking uh, the functionality. Um, so that's nice about, about PyCharm. It's a key feature for me. A second feature is um, that it's quite easy to set up um, so-called run configurations. These run configurations can run um, the multiple steps um, of preparation or teardown around your actual application that you are developing. Being able to set this up also for a code that is executed remotely is really nice. So I use this often. The support for uh, remote code execution over SSH. Um, it's really easy to um, switch between different Python versions on different virtual machines in, let's say, some cloud here or there. Um, and uh, also, of course, you can execute the code locally on your machine. But nowadays, I rarely do this. I mostly execute code somewhere else because then I can use the hardware that fits best task. And it's also reproducible for uh, my other fellow developers who can use the same setup over the cloud as well. In theory, you could also achieve everything that you can do with PyCharm with little separate tools, but um, PyCharm has much less friction than that and uh, requires much less setup. And uh, just like switching between, for example, a Git rebase, um, something that you start in your terminal, a run, um, a variables of your current run, a terminal running on a remote machine, um, and your code from different projects is just super fast with, uh, with PyCharm because it's all in the same integrated environment. Yeah, and that's, that's uh, one key point as well. PyCharm helps me to set up remote environments quickly and to switch with, between them quickly as well. It also helps me to keep the data privacy of uh, my customers because I can specify like which data should land on which virtual machine um, or which remote execution environment. And uh, since we uh, at Signius have usually multiple cu customers, um, this is very important. Jupyter Notebooks in PyCharm um, are quite nice compared to standalone Jupyter Notebooks because you get the refactoring features from PyCharm on top and uh, you also get the PyCharm debugger. And I think these two aspects are really nice. And what's also cool is um, yeah, to be able to execute Jupyter Notebooks on, on a, a different machine by using this SSH interpreter um, integration that PyCharm has. Once we had um, a machine learning pipeline running on a remote machine and uh, we had some implausible output at some stage of the pipeline in a pre-processing step and we wanted to track down the problem. And with uh, PyCharm, this boils down to opening the code, entering the specific function that you want to debug. For example, an entry point could be a Jupyter notebook and uh, then setting breakpoints at some uh, intermediate steps of the pipeline. and. Yeah, all you have to do then is to visualize the, the output at the various steps and see where things go wrong. And since PyCharm can display data frames yeah, or has support for this, mm -hmm. um, it was quite easy to see, okay, before this step and after this step, uh, things go wrong. 